everyone sab log badhiya abhi before we start i wanted to uh, start everybody off with this amazing piece of headgear that abhijit is wearing today ye according to him this is a cap but uh, kushal and i we have our doubts yes this this is basically abhijit's pubic hair <laughs> महीनों महीनों का बचा बचा के रखा हुआ इज अ सोवियत उशंका इट्स आर्कटिक इट्स आर्कटिक इट्स आर्कटिक फॉक्स एज यू कैन सी एंड सी द ब्यूटी ऑफ दिस इज दैट इट यस एंड सी व्हाट हैपेंस विद दिस इज दिस द बैक बट इफ यू ओपन दिस पार्ट हियर इट पिक अप द बिकम ईयर फ्लैप व्हिच एवरी सिंगल उशंका हैज दैट अबे ये दिखाएगा भी अब यू आर सच अ क्रेटन अच्छा आई एम द क्रेटन लाइक दिस एंड इट ओपन्स अप लाइक दिस एंड सी व्हेन यू आर फेसिंग सम ह्यूमिड टेंपरेचर्स एंड स्टफ इनक्रेडिबल हु न्यू शंकर्स कैन डू दैट बताओ ये देखो कमेंट आ रहा है हम लोगों को नया नया लेट जी आ नहीं सबसे बेस्ट ये कमेंट है लेट लेट मोदी जी स्टॉप माय गॉड अबे मोदी को और कोई काम नहीं है तुम्हारी गर्लफ्रेंड चुराएगा मोदी जी कुछ भी करते रहते हैं आप लोग यार हाथ होती है आ, ये देखो ये बोल रहा है सुहेल सेठ के बाल लग रहे हैं <laughs> 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 अभी ये तू तो सुहेल को ये पक्का बोलना इसको 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 पकड़ इसको पकड़ ये कीप दिस ऑन स्क्रीन आई नीड टू सेंड दिस टू सुहेल सेंड इट टू सुहेल ये सुहेल को भेज ये सुहेल को भेज ये सुहेल सेठ के बाल <laughs> That's amazing. Acha, <laughs> before we get started today, I before we talk about anything else today, there's one thing that's very important for us to discuss, and we can't move on today without discussing that. So I just want to show a bunch of people this video because somebody sent this to me on WhatsApp, and so I think it's very important that this is shared. So this is an iconic uh, scene. from a movie called dhadkan but it's been reinterpreted in 2021 me kill me photo ko kyun chala wo tumma kitni hi kadli dur ho jaati hu aa मुझे याद है जब मैंने ये डीएम पे अभिजीत को भेजा था अभिजीत को सदमा लग गया था बोला कुत्ते क्या भेज दिया तूने <laughs> मेरे साइकिल को मेरे टोटो को बेस्ट मगर सुनील शेट्टी का अमेजिंग मजा आ गया तो आई है अमेजिंग बट but let's talk about this before we talk about the other main stuff today mm -hmm. is uh, everybody is talking about uh, kushal the cabinet reshuffle people seem to be generally pleased with the cabinet reshuffle are you sort of on the same lines as well do you have an opinion even on the cabinet reshuffle mere ko to aaj tak yahi nahi samajh pada hai ki ye itna bada discussion kyu hota hai is desh mein ki jaise matlab bahut bada koi hum log ne teer maar liya acha dekh sabse pehli baat hoti hai na log गॉसिप करते हैं अच्छा तुझे कौन लगता है कौन आएगा कौन नहीं आएगा अबे सालो कितनी बार बोला है कि मोदी और शाह को छोड़ के तीसरे आदमी को नहीं मालूम होता कौन आएगा या बोल बोल आई जस्ट वांट टू फ्लैग द हेट कमेंट दैट यू जस्ट फ्लैशड ऑन स्क्रीन लाइक अ फ्यू सेकंड्स बैक पापा जी सी आई आई सेल्फ आइडेंटिफाई एज अ फीमेल इन द इवनिंग्स एंड यू नो दिस इज लाइक अग्रेशन This is blatant speech. like homophobia. I feel like. See, yeah. this is Anand Shridhar. So I know, really by Abhijit, it. So uh, I think <laughs> Anand is allowed. Abhijit, get it! Come on, come on! Oh, 
Logic lang na kaya pa kita na kaya. Kitunik ko minilog eh. Oh, mamirala yun. Kitunik ko minilog ho tong log. Kitunik ko minilog ho tong log. ये ये शो है ना ये शो में हम लोगों को एक्सटर्नल ह्यूमर लाने की जरूरत नहीं है ह्यूमर अंदर से पैदा होता है ये कमेंट ऑफ द वीक अवार्ड देते हैं ना हम लोग हर 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 हफ्ते ये दिस इज टुडे दिस वीक का तो हम लोगों को मिल गया नहीं कर सकता ए राणा यू कंप्लेनिंग इन द लाइव स्ट्रीम विद अभिजीत बाजी लेने भेजा था साले किधर चले गए किधर गायब हो गया तू यू कांट बीट दिस इसको तो बीट ही नहीं कर सकते दिस इज अ कमेंट ऑफ द वीक ऑलरेडी सो फार Oh, uh, but Jun, there are th- one of the things that people seem to be happy at least about when it comes to this cabinet reshuffle. I also don't understand the sort of excitement that people get over cabinet reshuffle. Like, I think people expect things to like dramatically change, which they never really do whenever there's a cabinet reshuffle. But I think one of the things that Kushal people are very excited about is the fact that Ravi Shankar Prasad and Prakash Jawadekar ji is gone. <laughs> I think people are most excited about that. Do you share that excitement? Honestly, no. I hmm. I don't care. See, I I always had fun as long as Jawadek Jawadekar ji was a minister. First of all, look, I don't know why people criticize Prakash Jawadekar as much as they do. I have no idea. I mean, if one was to do an objective analysis of his role as a minister, yeah. what was so uniquely bad in what Prakash Jawadekar did? I think Twitter compared I, to the predecessor, yeah, yeah. So I mean, itna kya? What did Prakash Jawadekar do? Dusra, Nobody did looks, anything. Yeah. Prakash Jawadekar now gets criticized. Just it's like a meme now. Everybody yeah. just criticizes Jawadekar. Dusra, look why. Look, first of all, the reasons cabinet reshuffles happen mm. are never usually based on performance. I'm not saying yeah. performance is not a criteria. It is usually anybody who has done any work in a political party or has enough friends in political parties will tell you they are done for purely political reasons. Yeah. That it could be a hint of the direction of the future. <laughs> to it could be a hint of i have to accommodate these many people uh, as per the changing landscape look what yeah. is in terms of symbolism baba isse zyada sc st obc representation ya kisi cabinet mein hui hai yeah. is country ke itihas mein bata do chalo ek bata do nahi hui hai that's a very good point yeah nahi hui even modi ji ki pehli cabinets mein bhi nahi hui hai तो इतनी ज़्यादा सो व्हाट व्हाट इज़ मोदी जी डूइंग फर्स्ट ऑफ़ ऑल आई थिंक इवन लाइक फीमेल रिप्रेजेंटेशंस प्रीटी हाई इन दिस कैबिनेट दैट दैट इज़ फाइन माय पॉइंट इज़ दैट दिस शोज़ दैट बीजेपी सीज़ हु वोट्स फॉर देम सी द कैबिनेट इज़ अ रिप्रेजेंटेशन ऑफ़ व्हाट अ पॉलिटिकल पार्टी Let yeah. me be crystal clear. The political party knows where they are getting their votes from. Well, and if a savvy BJP, political party, let's put yeah. it that way. <laughs> Secondly, if BJP knows that SC, ST, OBCs are voting for them, imagine Congress ki kitni fatni chahiye. Or kya yaar? Yeah. Khatam ho gaye Congress. Game over hai unki. Yeah. Con hai. Like who is the con? Who is like the traditional vote bank of Congress at this point? If I mean, obviously there's a section of SCSTs and other castes as well, but अभी अगर देखोगे तो कौन है जो जिस पर कांग्रेस फुली बैंक कर सकती है? Not not even Muslims, I feel like. Can they no, bank no, on Muslims? No, no. Congress can bank on Muslims in states no, 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 where no, they are start. the direct competition. No, but अभी जी, don't you think right, where right, Congress right. and BJP has a uh, direct head-on-head competition, they can still bank on the Muslim vote? No, they can't. Uh, because see, uh, in Kerala, if you look at it technically. uh the bjp uh the congress wasn't fighting the cpi which mm. got most of the vote uh they they were fighting the bjp for number 2 position yeah okay uh, and you look at uh, even where they were head to head like in amethi and things the sp seems to uh, will take away the entire thing the congress just needs to lose once for mm. the entire thing to go uh, off uh for the entire uh, uh, uh vote to uh, uh you know uh, go away to another party yeah bengal mein so, dekho kya hua do you uh, do you read anything into sort of uh, what's his name that sindhia guy getting like a ministry 
Do you read anything into that in particular? Is that is that a bit of like a? I think I read something on Twitter where people were saying that that's a bit of like an invite to people like Sachin Pilot. Or ki bata dekho idhar aana hai to aa jao. He's you remember his father was civil aviation minister as well. Yeah. Uh he was civil aviation minister I think in Narsimha Rao's time and that yeah. is when they got the TU the Tupelo 154 there was a big Indian Airlines strike and they got a uh, Tupelo 154s from uh, Turkmenistan Airlines and Uzbek Airlines and yeah. one of them uh, crashed nobody died but Madhav Rao Sindhya given his resignation I think it's yeah. a metaphor uh he's being rewarded because he brought a state but if the state crashes the way the tupelo 154 crashed then he's going to uh, you know uh not get it yeah <laughs> yes prashant <laughs> bisht ye petticoat kiska baand hai sar par abhi jeet ne kiska petticoat ye bhagwan ये छोड़ ये देख ये किसी इतनी ग्रेट है हमारी लाइफ दो मिनट में इन्होंने सोयल सेट के बाल अभी जी इसके सर पे दो सेकंड भी नहीं लगे भाई क्राइम पेट्रोल प्रस्तुत पति पत्नी और वो यार क्या ऑडियंस है भाई यार जीनियस लोग है ये लोग कसम से जीनियस लोग है सोहेल सेट सोहेल सेट को भी एक दिन बुलाना पड़ेगा लगता है इस लाइव स्ट्रीम में बुलाना पड़ेगा नहीं पड़ेगी बुला बुला हां 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 बिल्कुल बिल्कुल बुलाते एक दिन मीम रिव्यू करने के लिए कि आजा भाई मीम रिव्यू पे बेस्ट तो मैंने सुहेल सेठ को एक बार बहुत साल पहले ना क्वेश्चन पूछा था कुछ तो कास्टिंग काउच का बोल रहा था बॉलीवुड में तो मैंने उसको बोला था क्या पॉन इंडस्ट्री में भी कास्टिंग काउच होती है क्या <laughs> <laughs> तो सुहेल सेठ का क्या बोला ये कैसा क्वेश्चन है <laughs> मैं टेक्निकली तो है ना क्या पॉन में भी कास्टिंग काउच होती है क्या सही बात है सही बात है नेशन नेशन वॉन्ट्स टू नो देर वॉज अनादर थिंग या my favorite part was something that i think abhijit shared and this is from like caravan magazine okay it was amazing ki bhai prakash javadekar ko ye sangi right winger se itni galiyan padti thi it was only a matter of time before caravan magazine started praising him and they actually did <laughs> they actually wrote an article saying strategy behind the cabinet reshuffle is exemplified by the appointment as ministry of human resource development of prakash javadekar a sung stalwart known for his quiet efficiency bataiye when you know that uh, caravan is praising someone <laughs> then you know what the honestly they, about they them. see when the caravan see i think they are doing it purposely to ruin prakash javadekar's career <laughs> because <laughs> exactly. because agar galti se मोदी जी के टेबल पे ये पहुंच गया तो क्या होता है पॉलिटिशियन की सोच कैसी होती है अच्छा अभी मीडिया से अपने लिए सिंपैथेटिक आर्टिकल करवा रहे हो एग्जैक्टली ये तो बात है है ना यार ये ये बहुत मतलब बैंड बज जाए जावड़ेकर <laughs> 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 There is but, but, Javadekar for PM tag. Arey, there's a there's yes. a huge hashtag. Every every two or three months, that hashtag comes out, and there's like ten thousand tweets on it. And then every two months after, it comes back again. So Kamal to hai. be fair, to be fair, Javadekar is actually a very very sweet human being. Yes. Uh, unlike uh, uh, unlike uh, Ravi Shankar Prasad, where nothing good can be said about him, either his <laughs> law or his humanity. Uh. Alas. alas uh the the one thing i really wanted to talk to you guys about today which is sort of the main topic of today's uh, podcast is 
I saw, you know, I don't know how many people got a chance to see this, but let me just play it anyway so people get a little context of what I'm actually talking about. And this is uh, Rana Ayub's video on, I think, BBC, where uh, she's talking about how the government is intimidating and harassing journalists like her because mm -hmm. she's a Muslim. Of maligning India's international image. I mean, who asks these questions? What about Jeff Bezos? Because I write for the Washington Post. I mean, the line of questioning is so bizarre. They have asked for my passport. They have asked for my bank account details. In a way, it's like criminally incriminating you or something doing as something as basic as journalism in this country. So yes, this time they have not just come about come against me because I'm a Muslim, but their prejudice. Well, at least a thousand media houses have reported on this specific issue so the the claim here is that you know she's being singled out and she's being attacked primarily you know because she's a muslim and there is an agenda against muslim there's a sustained campaign against muslims and it's you know leaving aside the fact kushal that uh, what she published and what she wrote was blatantly untrue and in a community sensitive state like the Uttar Pradesh and a community sensitive country like India, <clears throat> you can actually cause a communal riot, you can actually cause communal violence. That set that aside for a second. But what I really do appreciate about people like Rana Ayub, to be honest, is that they've almost created this incredible and I'm saying this out of not out of like any sarcasm. I'm saying it from a level of genuine like admiration that they've they've almost managed to create like an incredible career for themselves in this victimhood economy nobody's buying my incredible book on the godra riots and the exposure that i've done supreme court bhi meri le rahi hai is kitab ko pad pad ke let me just create this entire ab ye kahan gaya let me just create this entire victimhood narrative well, then I can go and write for the New York Times. I can go and write for the Washington Post. I can get invited to CNN and BBC and I can create a fairly lucrative career for myself. No, it's it's not at all surprising that uh, Rana Yub has done that. So you have to understand Rana Yub in a state or a situation where uh, even the courts in India say, Tum se nahi ho Yeah. Um, <laughs> terrorist beards a real one. <laughs> Oh my God. No. So uh, uh, to the <laughs> point, Rana Yub is perfectly fit for uh, the woke media in the West because they needed some kind of a patsy. I think uh, yeah. credit to her. Rana Yub is the Sasti Robin D'Angelo of India. <laughs> there, there are many other pretenders to the throne, by the way, if you don't, if you don't know this, Kushal. There's this guy also who's now apparently a journalist with the New York Times. Kunal Kamara. <laughs> He's writing. Ye, he's, ye writing udar chale gaya? Ye he's a guest columnist on New York Times now, bhaiya. Ye victimhood economy majak hai kya? India has orchestrated a state COVID massacre. Bataiye. Kunal Kamra is an investigative journalist now. Did you know that? No. So I want you guys to follow this handle on Twitter. Hmm. It's called Gettle Gems. Uh, okay. Gems Gettle. Okay. Uh, because this was his, uh, <clears throat> the New York Times' correspondent here, Jeffrey Gettleman. Okay. Gettle James. <laughs> this was his parody account in Africa when he was the Africa correspondent, right? Okay. okay. He used to stereotype every single African meme that there was. Wow, really? They used to call him the great white elephant hunter while he served in Nigeria. He was oh a running God. joke in Nigeria. Yeah. Uh, and, you know, uh, uh, he, the uh, advertisement that he put out for the person to replace him yeah. went viral. Oh yeah, because yeah, it was as much that. of a joke as the New York Times uh, India correspondent, the business correspondent uh, advertisement was. Yeah. Okay, so go Google Jeffrey Gettleman uh, replacement advertisement Nigeria Africa New York Times. Jeffrey it's it's Gettleman uh, replacement advertisement Nigeria Africa N Nigeria or Africa correspondent. Okay. So uh, what happens is that their news reportage 
with all these papers, the opinion columns yeah. are kept separate from the news columns, right? Mostly. Yeah. The problem in India is that even the news columns get hijacked by these opinion types, yeah. like has happened with, say, uh, uh, the Washington Post. Yeah. Uh, or in the case of the New York Times, you get people like Gettleman who are absolutely righteous and certain of their moral superiority. Mm. So what do you do? It's a problem. You know, the Foreign Correspondents Club has this problem a lot. Uh, they yeah. bitch about it a lot, but they do nothing to fix it. So you take uh, these uh, French newspapers like Figaro and Le Monde and all of them. They yeah. have the exact same problem. <clears throat> right. Because the problem with those clowns is the more Le Monde and uh, Figaro and all those correspondents in Delhi is yeah. that uh, this is an English speaking country in that particular circle. So while in France, they would be laughed out for uh, uh, any of the shit that they wrote in India, yeah. uh, th they can only fit in and get interviews if they uh, uh, because, you know, nobody's interested in a French correspondent. Uh, yeah. uh, 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 mostly they're seen as smelly chaps who live in non-AC houses and don't use deodorant and don't brush their teeth. It's not incorrect. They are like that, by the way. Uh, yeah. But uh, 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 you can't... Uh, who's interested in appearing in the front pages of Le Monde? Who's interested right. in appearing in the front pages of, uh, 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 you know... Oh, here uh, it is. Uh, is this the one you're talking about? Let me show this to you. Is this the one? Our Nairobi bureau mm -hmm. chief has a tremendous opportunity to dive into news and enterprise across a wide range of countries from the deserts of Sudan to the pirate seas of the Horn of Africa. Oh my God. Down through this the is what he wrote. Congo and the shores of Tanzania. It is an enormous patch of vibrant, intense and strategically important territory with many vital storylines, including terrorism, the scramble for resources and the global contest with China and the constant push and pull of democracy versus authoritarianism. The ideal candidate should enjoy jumping on news, be willing to cover conflict, and also be drawn to investigative stories. There is also the chance to delight our readers with unexpected stories of hope and the changing rhythms of life in a rapidly evolving region. My God, this is like a bloody Steven Spielberg. It's it's like a it's like a nineteen thirties it's like a nineteen thirties like Tintin in Africa comic. Oh my God! Yeah, that's a very good way to put it. That's exactly what it is. So, so that's why they came up with Gems Gettle and the Great White Elephant Hunter. They banned My. Great White Elephant Hunter. That was much more vicious. Yeah. But you realize it, uh, yeah. Jeffrey Gettleman in India is like Tintin in Africa. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so it's it's quite, um, uh, yeah. Uh, who was that? I have no idea. <laughs> Something just happened, but it went away also at the same time. Yeah, it's... Okay. Yeah, that was that is that is very interesting, and I I also feel <clears throat> on the on the sort of same level. So on the one hand, you have this victimhood economy of people like Rana Ayub, and and you know they need these native informants in India, people like yeah. New York Times and uh, uh, Washington Post. On the other hand, you also have folks like you know there, there's also this new trend in India that I think Kunal Kamra should really be given a lot of credit for creating this trend. I think he's the progenitor of the trend. Maybe there's, there's people before him as well, but he's probably the biggest benefactor of this trend, which is brave comedy, you know, sort of fighting the establishment, anti-establishment sort of uh, bravery good. comedy. Please, hum, comedy not insult him. Speaking, speaking truth to power, Bol. Speaking truth Correct to power, yourself. exactly. Hmm. Speaking truth to yes. power. And one of those, another, there's a lot of examples of such comedy. One of them is Veer Das, obviously, who always speaks about, makes so many videos about how important freedom of speech is to him and how he's never going to bow to the Sanghi mobs because, you know, he's, he's not afraid. He's not afraid to put his neck on the line. And so what was funny recently is that he, I don't know how many people know this, but he made a joke. This is a very innocuous joke, which he said his pronouns are he or her, which it's not funny, it's not offensive, it's nothing, it's a nothing joke. And yeah. uh, But apparently a lot of people got upset. Obviously, you can imagine that it wasn't the Sanghis who were getting upset at this joke. <laughs> and so people got upset and guess what our warrior for freedom did? Our warrior for freedom deleted it. He deleted and it. And he says, yeah, yeah, and put up an apology. Please. Yeah, he said, please calm down. This joke is about me. Chalo, please. 
everybody calm down i feel like it was misunderstood hope everyone can breathe again cheers abbe ye tumhari bahaduri bhai are bahaduri chodo iska to joke bhi acha nahi hota hai इससे बेहतर अगर मैंने एक वीडियो दे, देख भाई ये वीरदास का ये है ना उसके जो जोक हैं इससे बेहतर मैं एक ट्वेंटी फोर सेवन यूट्यूब चैनल खोलू जहां मैं खुद अपने नीचे का बाल खुजला रहा हूँ yeah. नहीं मैं सच में बोल रहा हूँ एक्चुअली मोर इट इट बी मोर एंटरटेनिंग वॉचिंग मी स्क्रैच माई ट्यूब ट्वेंटी फोर सेवन दैन वॉचिंग वीरदास प्रोग्राम and the thing is so, for so, the joke to so, be so, genuinely first of all it needs to be funny at least exactly yeah it's not even funny like i was looking at that going ye he made a pronounced joke after bloody 100000 comedians across the world already, <laughs> already made, made their pronounced jokes <laughs> so how incredibly brave exactly wow. and the bravery of these comedians is also no these people say ki bhai hum to har religion pe mazak udate hain we're not we're not afraid of criticizing anyone that's that's yeah. the kind of bravery that we show and if you follow so i actually made an effort you know to kushal took that sort of follow this trend ki bhai theek hai aap log har religion pe mazak udate hain you claim so let me watch some of your material so i actually went and watched veer das's material on religions over the past couple of days and so he does make jokes on like christianity and islam but it's never anything specific it's all about all these jokes are very similar to how all other indian comedians or woke comedians make it which is the people that are committing terrorist acts in the name of islam they are the bad people and the, there's nothing wrong with the actual religion or any religious figures per se gali mat do papa pe maine to gali nahi diya ye to anatomical part hai papa ji aap apne bacche ko samjhao ki pubic hair kya hote hain aapne shayad samjhaya nahi hai क्लेम्स <laughs> or i'm never going to make fun of any particular religious figure however when it comes to like hindus and sanghis those rules don't track in in hindus yeah. and sanghis we can go after claims we can go after specific But, you know gods yeah. and goddesses and ideally i don't have a I really i really don't have a problem yeah. with that if no, the uh, has, see has i don't have a problem with it at all yeah right my no, no, issue no. is if you're doing it here then do it to everybody that's the whole thing like that right. would make mind you, you get a way with this even with christianity yeah. remember even in italy and spain and things as much outrage as it generates you're free like there was a guy who drew yeah. a piss jesus you know uh, put jesus into a toilet and then uh, urinated on it and things and apparently this was art i don't know how this constitutes art i think it's completely <laughs> tasteless but anyway yeah. uh, it's art uh, i mean if you really want to uh, you know uh, 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 humiliate an authority figure why don't you put your own mom's face in that uh, 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 toilet and urinate yeah. on it uh, and you know uh, keep your mother close by when you're doing it because then let's see how she reacts to you doing that to her yeah. so you know I, i i don't think it's particularly funny or tasteless when you do crap like that yeah. but it is your right to do it so you get away with it in christianity also remember yeah. in hinduism you've always gotten away with it the issue is only one religion out here yeah well the issue is two religions in india like in india if in all india, india goes because after remember, the catholic church because remember third world christianity to... third yeah. world christianity is very different from first world christianity yes third world christianity is extraordinarily bigoted extraordinarily violent you just need to know what's happening in uganda to homosexuals and albinos yes. i mean forget homosexuals even albinos if you're born with the wrong skin color <laughs> they'll chop you into little pieces that. Yeah. No, they do this. No. And by the way, this is all blessed by the Christian Church out there. Huh? Yeah. Encouraged by see, the Christian Church. See, the irony in this entire process is the man's name is Veer and Das together. Yeah, exactly. वो वीर भी है और दास भी है. So वीर कभी दास. वो 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 वीर है जब हिंदुओं का मजाक उड़ाता है वो दास हो जाता है जब इस्लाम और क्रिश्चियनिटी की बारी आती है या बौद्धिज्म की बारी आती है. But look, नहीं भाई देखो ऐसा है वीर गांड चाटने के लिए भी बहुत करेज की जरूरत होती है। पापा बैठे हैं, पापा बैठे। तो दास होने के लिए, तो दास होने के लिए बहुत वीरता की जरूरत है। 
क्योंकि वो बट चीक्स को खोल के यू नो ये सब करना जो वीर को करना पड़ता है पापा उठ के किचन में चले जाएंगे मैं आधे घंटे में आता हूँ <laughs> no, 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 so, no. so here, look, uh, I think being selective is also not a problem. Hmm. You can be selective. It, look, human beings are only going to attack things that uh, they are cognitively comfortable with. I yeah. think we we might fa- make fun of a lot mm-hmm. of things, but even with us, seventy percent of the times we may end up making fun of yes the other side. That's fine, but we. Make a conscious effort to make fun of everyone, and we have first principles. And the other My thing is, H- we've never hidden our bias. Yeah. We've never said, "I'm completely unbiased, guys." I will question Modi as much as I will question Manmohan Singh. I have, you know, I, we have never claimed to be something that we're not. Is what I'm saying. Yeah, yeah. no, but the difference between people like us, Veer Das, Kunal Kamra, is that we have first principles. and when something challenges our first principles we don't deviate from the first principles we stick to first explain, principles explain give give explain that to people when you say first principles i was i we got a lot of uh, uh, super uh, not super chats but like comments on our last video about this so explain that to people so uh, let us take the policy of let's say economics now mm. uh, when we say socialism is bad and socialism is evil it doesn't matter who does it right socialism is bad is a standard argument based on uh, first principles where you analyze how the market runs efficiently and when we we know the market runs ye bahut kamine log hain ee ee is is youtube channel ke jo subscriber hain itne kamine log hain itne kamine log hain I am protesting shameless homophobia. This is transphobia. यार ये बंदा जो भी है बंदा या बंदी जो राणा यू है ना भाई गुरु इसकी है ना real life में इसको अभिजीत से मिला के है ना अभिजीत के साथ selfie लेनी चाहिए. Oh my God. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Kuchal, I had to put that on screen. No, no. I, I, I. I the, so. now when bjp does socialism we will criticize bjp that shows yeah. we are consistent and we come from first principles and we come from certain standards yeah. the problem with these people is that when their person does it they don't have the guts to uh, see if they believe there is misogyny in hinduism i'm just giving you uh, an example uh you can definitely find it in different texts in hinduism and it's all over hindu society yeah but when somebody points them out that there is a verse in the quran that literally calls women tilth tilth means a land of plowing a place yeah. where you can plow basically arthat <laughs> baby making factories yeah they will not have the guts to say it and then they keep come up with this weird mental gymnastics where there is a power dynamic they are the minority so we cannot f- make fun of them yeah. then they will come up with some excuse it is their culture not our culture yeah. so either they are patronizing and condescending to muslims or they they say uh, they come up with this bogus you know power dynamic argument and they say we are not supposed to punch down but yeah. how you, how are you punching down when you are making fun of men and patriarchy of a minority religion yeah. how is that punching down i thought you punching up would be attacking men irrespective of their religion right so if it is punching up then why not punch up with islam yeah. see the point is abhijit is spot on अगर तुम डर यहां तो तुम बोलो तुम वीर हो ही नहीं तुम सिर्फ दास हो मुझे तो कोई प्रॉब्लम नहीं है।, है कोई बात नहीं है देन इट्स फाइन और टी शर्ट बना के घूमो मैं yeah. फट्टू हूँ मेरी फटती है मेरे <laughs> को इस्लाम को नहीं क्रिक मैं फट्टू हूँ मैं इस्लाम का जोक नहीं मारूंगा <laughs> अरे वो कुनाल कामरा ने इस्लाम के जोक मारे थे अपने ट्विटर पे दो हजार में सारे उठा के डिलीट किए उसने ट्वीट ध्रुव राठी के पुराने इतने सारे कॉमेंट्स है Why? See, this, this is, is the problem. They've all been deleted. And there, the there is a reason why people like me don't have to delete their tweets. हम सब की लेते हैं, तब से ले रहे हैं, आज तक ले रहे हैं. हमको कुछ फर्क नहीं पड़ता है. हम हमारा standard है. ये podcast है. यहाँ पे मोदी के memes होते हैं. यहाँ पे अमित शाह के meme होते हैं. यहाँ पे नेहरू के meme होते हैं. अरे सब की ली जाती है. और यही कारण है कि बोलेंगे नहीं left wing वाले. मगर meme review देख के जाते हैं यहाँ पे. हाँ. वही तो बात है एंड दिस इज यू नो दिस ऑल ऑफ दिस इज आई फील लाइक 
एंड दिस इज समथिंग दैट आई थिंक मैक्रॉन ने बोला था इस हफ्ते या फेबररी में भी बोला था एंड देन ही रिपीटेड इट व्हाट ही वाज सेइंग दैट यू नो देयर आर दीस थ्योरीज एंड दीस आइडियाज कमिंग फ्रॉम अमेरिकन यूनिवर्सिटीज एंड अमेरिकन पॉलिटिकल सिस्टम्स टू फ्रांस व्हिच इज डीपली रेशियलाइजिंग फ्रेंच सोसाइटी एंड इट्स डिवाइडिंग फ्रेंच सोसाइटी ऑन द बेसिस ऑफ रेस एंड आई डू फील लाइक देयर इज अ डेंजर व्हेयर दीस सेम कांसेप्ट्स हैव इनफिल्ट्रेटेड इंडिया एंड पर्टिकुलरली इंडियन यूनिवर्सिटीज and they're also dividing you know sort of indian society based on the same things as well they're creating those same dynamics that they're trying to create very very hard in the united states as in black people are going to be forever oppressed they have no agency they have no opportunity in in, in america to grow they will always be oppressed they will always be shot by police so it's it's there's no hope for them basically and that's the kind of ideas that are being spread about the muslim populations in india as well there's no hope for them there's no hope for dalits they can never get out of their lot in life currently and that creates see, a very is, dangerous situation for any society but see it's it's more than just dangerous it's it's a dead end yeah okay danger if it leads to something new is good here it's a dead end because one thing we do in india is we cut copy paste and we never yeah. do uh we never contextualize nor do we do it the way so for example nehru cut copy pasted socialism but he wasn't yeah. willing to go to the lengths that say stalin was willing to go remember stalin industrialized an agricultural country stalin took a country with uh, uh, you know a single digit uh, uh, literacy and made it a 100% literacy country yeah for all his down uh, downs the uh, uh, let's just ignore the killing of say 12 to 15 million uh, people plus another 20 million people due to incompetence but idhar to wo bhi aap karte nahi ho jo bhi karte ho ghatusa karte ho then you get all these slogans that are not suited for india and you start applying them on india what's yeah. the point here i mean it just shows you the stupidity of the woke class in india yeah like and, what is you know for every any ideology to survive or any ideology to prosper or be successful in any country kushal don't you think that you need a you need some kind of a positive plan of action right does wokeism provide a positive plan of action no it doesn't wokeism yeah. is uh, wokeism is like that virus that can only make you sick but it has no backup plan see wokeism is like a trojan Yeah. it enters and it destroys you uh and the difference which is why wokeism is a bad religion unlike all the religions of the past because unlike all the religions of the past not only they have bad ideas but then they have that supra sensory effect or the supra sensory thing that you you are part of a larger community that you can look forward to something and always remember religions have an afterlife whether in the form of hinduism where you are reincarnating or in the form of christianity and islam where you're stuck or in my view stuck whatever right. um with jesus or muhammad and the angels right in in the afterlife the point is there is something to look forward to religions yeah. give you that wokeism gives you nothing wokeism says you are horrible you suck your life sucks now keep <laughs> crying on a daily basis you know wokeism is like your twitter timeline yeah in real yeah. life that's exactly what it is and the, the, you know even if you look at something like hindutva people can disagree with it till the cows come home i have no issues with that people have their own opinions but i do think that you know maybe it's not articulated very well but it i think it does offer a positive plan of action which is yeah. you know sort of parity parity and uh, creating a certain vision of your country these are all positive plans of action getting rid of caste barriers destruction of caste barriers moving towards a certain vision of your for for your civilization and for your religious group for your country as a whole these are all positive visions whether or not you agree with them and that's where i think wokeism or leftism whatever you want to call it falls short no i think center left does have a plan of action and something to look forward to because center yeah. left did not have a problem with religion center left thought was Or just nationalism. basically we- Yeah so center left thought was what you make a secular nation where religion and governance does not come together that is mm-hmm. fine i think that is not an issue in fact both center left and center life right people mm. do that i have no issues with center left people my yeah. problem is when you want to annihilate a complete system see when yeah. i say annihilate jati varna i don't say it annihilate hinduism 
I say save Hinduism, get rid of jati varna, birth based jati varna. That birth also I want to be very clear. Yeah. I want to be very crystal clear. I believe that system has no use. But there's a difference. I, see, I did a podcast recently with Colin Wright, who is this editor in Colette, and I, I had this hypothesis, and I believe I'm accurate, where I, yeah. I actually lay the blame of wokeism on new atheism. That new atheism mm. came up with this idea that religion is a mind virus. We have to destroy it completely. And look what you got us, you morons. Yeah. They 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 put us in this mess. And now you know now they are also crying because many new atheists have been cancelled, which is which is absolutely yeah. ridiculous. Yeah. But we can't. <laughs> which is something they have to you know reap what they sowed. Basically, sala unke saath ham phas gaye. Wo alag baat hai. But yeah. Think about it in a very rational way. What has wokeism given to humanity, yeah. other than <laughs> sadness and daily incessant randirona? <laughs> so I'll tell you what it actually gives humanity. You have a choice of coming on the victim side. Yeah. Right. What they want basically is for somebody like me to say, "Oh, Hinduism is so oppressive." La di da di da. Uh, they're fat phobic. They're bald phobic. Uh, I can quote several shlokas that are bald and fat phobic. Uh, so, for example, you know, uh, 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 Vamana is depicted as killing what? Uh, who did Vamana kill? Uh, Mahabali. Uh, no, 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 not Mahabali? Mahabali. No, no, not Mahabali. Who was it? Not Mahabali. Vamana killed. I know they. Ah, sab. Thik hai. Let me look. They. They. they have some Lama nonsense hai. like this, yeah. and then I should Mahabali. come to their side. And Mahabali. 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 Mahabali hi tha. Hello, then so I was wrong. you know. Yeah. yeah. So they'll say, uh, "See, th this was a negative imagery of dwarves." Yeah. Uh, okay, and uh, it was negative imagery of Dravidians. They were being portrayed as X, Y, Z, and. Yeah. Uh, uh, you know the kind of crap, and then it's all kumbaya. Hmm. So the threat is very clear. If you do not join us and mouth off our inanities, you will be an oppressor. Yeah. If you come to our side, we will open doors for you through extortion uh, uh, or violence or whatever. Yeah. The threat of violence being implicit, um, and mind you, this suits social media companies perfectly. Yeah. It's. Suits companies perfectly because what it does is it gives management an ability to <clears> explain <throat> losses and things like that, saying there is a toxic work culture instead of mm. taking responsibility for their own poor performance, etc., etc., etc. Because remember, in ninety percent of cases, top management are actually quite useless. I mean, there's several yeah. business studies to that, that you know show you that top management is very frequently very very useless you've got paper pushers have come there simply because the more capable people have moved on elsewhere and things like that yeah right so it it it's a very useful both as a business uh, uh, responsibility deflection tool mm. and it's very useful to keep your workforce constantly bogged down in a culture of fear Hmm. Where they don't know what's going to happen to them, so they need to stay in management's good books, yeah, in the hope that they won't be struck off the records for perceived, uh, you know, uh, uh, insensitivity, racial, sexual, gender insensitivity. Yeah, yeah, it, it's in a lot of ways it's very Christian as well because you know there's this collective guilt that you've put upon yourself that all white people are racist. And to escape it's, it's that not guilt. just collective guilt. It's also very yeah. communist. Remember, yeah. uh, Jesus Christ was the first, uh, uh, you know, a socialist uh, in a uh, well, he was the second socialist after Ashoka. Yeah. All this glorification of poverty. Uh, you know, it's easier for a, a camel to go through the eye of a needle than for a rich man to enter the gates of heaven. Yeah. Or uh, suffering uh, 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 is beautiful, or poverty yeah, yeah. is nobility. All the shit is Christian dogma. It's early Christian dogma, yeah. right? So it's it's it, uh, so so there was a whole anti-established narrative that uh, uh, a Christian dogma itself started up, yeah. which then becomes communist dogma. Remember, communist methods today are exactly what Christian methods used to be in the Roman Empire. Yeah. Mm. What you see yes. Wokes doing today is exactly what the early Christians did in Egypt, in Anatolia, mm -hmm. in Greece, and in mm -hmm. Rome. 
Yeah. Okay. And it all and this is exactly what communists did, incidentally, in China and Russia everywhere. Yeah. Uh, all right. Let's jump now because we've got a lot of good questions, and I know Kushal. There's a couple that he wants to take. So let's do yeah. some meme review, and then we'll jump onto the questions. I love you, Ashnas. I actually watch three minutes of talk nonsense as a Zoom date with my girlfriend. <laughs> Good job, man. I hope I hope you and Ashnas are happy. Um, I yeah. just want to point out he referred to me as a man, and that oh, is a no. microaggression. That is a microaggression. Like he Shame just misgendered you, me, and that's not yeah. very nice. That's not that's yeah. not very nice at all. In microaggression go Hindi mein kya bolenge? Choti ungli. Choti. Choti ungli. Ha. Tune mere ko choti ungli. Choti nunu. Choti nunu. Choti nunu. Um. Before I start meme review, there is one thing that I want to say is that our subreddit has crossed 7,000 members. So now we have 7,000 members submitting memes and uh, sending us designs. So the community is growing. The community is thriving. So thank you very much, guys, for uh, sending us your – for joining the subreddit, for joining the community. If you want to join once again, uh, the link is floating around at the bottom. You can go join the subreddit if you like as well. All right. Our first meme comes to us from Kanya East. Well done, man. This is a good one. Gone but not forgotten. Dude, look at this. This is amazing. This is from wonder landis hoax he created a merch design for like stickers and like uh mouse mats you know whatever you call those mouse pads check this out man this is amazing this is in this goes into this like so much cool. detail wait let me hope it opens up what is this uh, cool right, cool right, cool right. Cool right, cool right. Ladida, Rana, he he he, donate Vastradata, free speech. <laughs> this is like so much detail. <laughs> Loreka fact checker, opera in Venice on the left, the topi me memes were not. Opera in Vienna, Sale, Venice, we can't jack your opera dictae. To Venice, your opera me gaya, it's called La Fenice. Opera, opera in Venice, like like Vienna, Nilica, opera in Venice, like Vienna cut. A Chesco Vienna cut. Fair, BJP IT cell admin BMW bot must Wi Fi <laughs> Utopia Nimbu <laughs> donate Vastra data at UPI. This is really good, man. This is really, really good. Ooh. Yeah, mouse yeah. pad ka design. Lag raha jase. Yeah, yeah, this is amazing. Uh, it's, this but it could also like a, be a good, yeah, it could be a good sticker, right? It could be a little. Yeah. It could be a really nice like fridge magnet. It could be a really nice sticker. It could be a bunch yeah. of really really cool stuff. So good job, man. Good job. This is uh, Wonderlandis hoax. This is really really nice. Uh, so we're, we're we're going to find some way to some way to use this for sure. Uh, <laughs> bye. This is from Ayangar is love. Oh my God, blasphemy on this podcast. Ayangar is love. He says, Abhijit got a chance to speak with Modi ji. So what did he say? Ayangar is make better sambar than Ayangar. Abhijit Ayer Mitra loves Rana Ayu. Mitra and Rana Ayu. Both, both are best couple in the world. Both are best couple in the world. Oh my god this is amazing. This is from 
Abhijit Ayangar Mitra, and he submitted a design last week as well that we asked him to change a little bit. So he's changed it, and he has submitted a new design, which is really, really cool as well. So this is from, uh, this is a really cool one, yeah. Veer Bhogya Vasundara. This is really mm. cool. And look at that. He he changed it a little bit. So we wanted the eyes to be like a little yeah, bit. Yeah, yeah. Look at that. Look at how nice that yeah. looks. That's Rudra good. Awakening. That's really, really nice, man. Yes, yes. Yeah, that's amazing. That that has to go on the shop. I feel like that has to go on the shop. That's yes. That's really amazing. Good job, man. This is probably. I mean, we're gonna declare the winners next week, but this is this is an easy one. I feel like for us, even with the Veer Bhogya Vasundara, man, I I really like that as one as well. Could you try if you're watching this? Could you try making one with like a I don't know, but like a Shiva or like a Parshuram with his little axe or like a trident and saying Veer Bhokya Vasundara. That could be a really cool one as well. But I like this one. I like this one, man. Good job. Forever. <laughs> 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 This is from Meme Chi. This is one of my favorite ones all week. It's not bad. It's not bad. It's not bad. It's not bad. <laughs> Are, you got the language wrong, Are, you have to say Nika nahi hua to. Ah, Nika nahi hua tumhara abhi tak. Sahi baat hai. Uh, the, the ultimate creation, this is again from satire. And today's memes, a lot of them have been sent by Blinky as well. So thanks Blinky. <laughs> Burka Queens, Kushal and AIM. Burka Queens, Kushal and AIM. Vastradatha <laughs> and Queen. Oh, what is this? What is this? What is this? I have no idea. What is this? What is this? What is this? I have to, I have to double check this, man. You have to tweet this. Yeah, I, I don't think I have done this. Why are you talking about this? Yeah, I have no idea. What is this? What is this? Anyways, I have no idea. 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 I have no yeah, I don't think I've done anything weird, but kuch, I don't know. Something weird is happening in this podcast. Um, then there is yeah, yeah, they go. summary of today's cabinet reshuffle. This is again from Kanye East. <laughs> summary of today's cabinet reshuffle. <laughs> 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 poor Javdeka, um, yaar. I feel sorry for him. Oh man, seriously. Mm. <laughs> that's, that's such a sad. I don't feel sorry for RS Ravi Shankar Prasad, but I do feel sorry for Why do you not uh, feel funny sad for Ravi Shankar Prasad? Ravi Shankar Prasad is a horrible human being. Oh, really? Yeah. I, I don't know him personally, so <laughs> what can I say? Uh this is from uh, Kim Jong Old Monk, the New York Times is looking for a correspondent in India. The person must be anti establishment, anti PM, must paint India in a bad light in every story. Me, Gali to nahi de sakte, lekin. Gali to nahi de sakte, lekin. This is cool. This is from uh, Raj. Yes, Sadbir ne bheja hai. Ye dekho. He's mixed all three of our sort of designs in one. Ya apka charvaka ka jo wheel hai, wo wheel mein dal diya hai and then the cannon on my head and then Abhijit star from last week. Mm. This is an interesting one as well. I like mm. that one. Uh, yeah, yeah. This one was very interesting. Look at this. Uh, this is from Kim John Old Monk. This is a merch design. <laughs> Badass Mitra. <laughs> 
ट्राइंग टू अंडरस्टैंड ये मुंह पे क्या है उसके मुंह पे सेंसर्ड का सेंसर्ड सेंसर्ड है हां सेंसर कर रखा है मुंह को और ये कौवा क्यों पकड़ा हुआ है दैट आई डोंट अंडरस्टैंड बट दिस इज अ रियली कूल इट लुक्स लाइक अ इट लुक्स लाइक अरे वो तो कुशल है वो कौवा नहीं है वो कुशल है पीछे देखो और नहीं वो कौवा नहीं है वो कुशल है झूठ बोले कौवा काटे काले कौवे से डरियो मैम क्यों टोपी पहनी हुई है अजीत ने बिकॉज़ ही टुक द स्पूटी बैग यो uh this is another merch design this is from kim jong old monk again <laughs> nimbu select your nimbu wisely <laughs> yes red nimbu blue nimbu be very careful which nimbu you select this is nice man i like this this might go on a t-shirt oh ye kya kya awaaz kya aayi suddenly ye iska tha phone abhijit kutte abhijit nonsense <laughs> iska tha phone and you to jit What is this? Uh, this is <laughs> this is BJP's BJP's uh, Uttar Pradesh final Zilla Panchayat election results. BJP sixty five, Congress four, Congress zero. नीचे से चेक नीचे से नीचे से चेक कर नीचे से. Oh, you all are in it. इधर प्रशांत किशोर है रवीश कुमार है टिकैत है सो मेनी पीपल टोंटी कुमार है टोंटी 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 चोर टोंटी चोर टोंटी चोर को भी डाल रखा है इसमें ओह दिस इज अनदर नाइस वन सो मेनी मर्च डिजाइन दिस वीक मैन लुक एट दैट दिस इज फ्रॉम सैटायर सारथी अगेन ओह नाइस दिस वन इज नाइस आई लव दिस Yeah, this one's really nice. Just a little pink, come karo. It I look very trans in this, which is not bad. Like I am trans, but uh, re- re- reduce the level of uh, uh, red Haan. and put a little bit of stubble. Ah, uh, thoda sa stubble dal, thoda sa redness come karo. Or, or if you want to highlight my gender fluidity, then keep the red, but add hmm. stubble and add the bit. stubble as well. Ah, there you go. So lots of ideas for satire to play around with. This is really but cool, man. This, this could also design. be a shirt. Yeah. This could also very easily be a shirt yeah. design. Uh, yeah. All right. Do we have any more? Oh yeah, we have. Oh, and make more. make the yeah. bindi make the bindi like the veil of uh, uh, like the vetri veil. Ah, like the vetri like veil of Muruga. Mm. Ah, there you go. That that is a good idea. So satire, if you're watching, bro, keep and keep an eye out, and you've got some ideas to play with. All right. Uh, let's take some other ones. and uh uh let's let's see what we have here ye dekho ye dekho idhar uh this is this is a mug design that we have received char char bucks hey ye to bahut badhiya hai ye to excellent this is really good dude char bucks nimbu soda you know which are mera i see i see i see uh this uh, starbucks comes after people huh they came after a delhi store called sardar bucks coffee oh really yeah there was a it was pretty decent coffee also near, uh, in uh, sardarjan development enclave market huh. and they called it sardar bucks and uh, uh, starbucks came after them and had them shut down so really? uh, yeah so maybe change this to yellow or something like that Ah, क्योंकि नींबू तो येलो होता है ना हाँ नींबू या यू कुड बी यू कुड मेक इट येलो एंड कॉल इट चार बक्स चार बक्स नींबू सोडा चार बक्स नींबू सोडा दिस इज दिस इज रियली गुड हाँ ये चेंज करके है ना मुझे ईमेल करो ये इसमें हाँ दिस इज दिस इज रियली गुड कॉन्टैक्टेड कुशल मेरा डॉट कॉम या देन आई थिंक वी शोड दिस लास्ट व Spells out three S. It's got a little. Oh yeah, uh, yeah, yeah! I like it. I love it. Yeah, I like this one as well. This is a really cool design. Uh, this is from Critical Energy five seven six nine. That's I a really cool design. Ah, yeah, देखो, ये देखो. Look at this. अरे, how do I share it, man? Oh, here we go. So, <laughs> Meme chi. सबका DNA same है. 
श्याम मोहन मित्रा मोहन कुशल चालो क्या बनाया अभिजीत को भेजना पड़ेगा इस मार्च के शर्ट बनवा के अभिजीत को भेजना पड़ेगा एंड मेक हिम वेयर इट ऑन द अरे मैं क्या करूं वो अभय देओल की तरह लगता था एंड देन लास्ट कपल दिस इज अनदर मार्च डिजाइन यूफोरिक डायमेंशन वर्ल्ड नींबू ऑर्डर यार दे आर सो क्लेवर मैन सम ऑफ दी दिस कुड बी अ रियली नाइस टीम ऑसम Yeah, yeah, this could be a really nice T-shirt. I, like yeah, I think it would be much. better on a white background. On a white background, or like, but no, that's just color white. नहीं आएगा. वो तो that'll be a नहीं आएगा. PNG. That'll be a PNG. नहीं आएगा. हाँ, तो I don't think it needs white. White पे इतना अच्छा नहीं आएगा. ये जो multi-colored option है, शायद black में ज़्यादा अच्छा आएगा. ऊपर मतलब वो color थोड़ा contrast में दिखेगा ना? हाँ, हाँ, हाँ. Exactly. Uh, all right. This one is from. आलू सोना प्राइवेट लिमिटेड आलू सोना ये सब बेबी क्यों बना दिया हमको पाली वी ऑल नो ये क्या है ये समबडी मेड अस इनटू बेबीज अपेरेंटली वी ऑल नो हु द गोरा बेबी इज एंड हु द डार्क बेबी इज गोरा बेबी इंटरेस्टिंग मर्च डिजाइन वेरी वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग अह ये तो समझ ही नहीं पड़ा ये पता नहीं पीपल्स क्रिएटिविटी क्या करोगे सम पीपल आर क्रिएटिव सर्टन वे एंड दिस 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 इज आर लास्ट वन समबडी क्रिएटेड अ मिला पेज टू फंड रेस help abhijit install a better internet connection <laughs> oh my god my goodness 7 <laughs> lakh mein mind you this is my <laughs> this is my uh, very famous monologue from the konark sun temple yes yes exactly wo oh, perfect hai na usme teri thukai hui thi ta internet dilwa do bhai koi um all right So before we get out of here, let's take a few questions. I know there was one question you wanted to take, Kushal. Let yeah, me Nikhil Khandel can... Walka. Nikhil. Ha, Nikhil ka question tha na. So let's start with his question. Let me see if I can find it somewhere. Nikhil. Ha. Nikhil Khandel Walka had a question saying, "How do you avoid being stuck in your own echo chambers? I find it tough since Twitter just keeps pushing content similar to what I already interact with." well uh, it's very simple uh, social media algorithms work on what you click and what you tend to spend my uh, most of your time on so you have to consciously make an effort to go and start reading things that annoy you or are yeah. basically different from exactly. what your world view is so the moment you start doing that you will automatically see that your timeline becomes very balanced so in my timeline actually i have many left wing tweets and articles and views coming and many uh, right wing and many indian and many many pro hindutva many anti anti hindutva also you can also find out what are those portals that are not uh, you know not as per your world view and you yeah. can randomly go and start reading material from there uh, you don't have to subscribe to them like you don't have to give money to new york times magar teen article to free mein milte hai na Yeah. तो वो यू हैव टू बी सिलेक्टिव या हमेशा वीपीएन चेंज कर करके कर करके उनका मुफ्त का चंदन घिस मेरे नंदन करते रहो <laughs> तो वो बहुत सारे तरीके हैं वो करने के सो द मोमेंट यू डू दैट आई विल आई विल देख आई विल सेंड यू समथिंग शैम यू पुट इट अप ऑन द सब रेडिट और व्हाट एवर इट्स हाउ टू रीड एनी एज मच ऑफ न्यूयॉर्क टाइम्स वाशिंगटन पोस्ट एज यू वांट फॉर फ्री <laughs> so don't pay them money. Okay, good. Okay, uh, I I will send you the step by step instructions. You put it up on Reddit. 
Yeah. Uh, you can access a lot of these things: Financial Times, Washington Post, New York Times. Uh, it's about a hundred international uh, 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 top, so-called top-notch magazines and uh, newspapers. You can read for free. Yeah. Yeah, I think to get out of your echo chamber, the, what Kushal said, because your echo chambers are very good at keeping you in it. So if you want to get out of it, you'll have to do a little bit of you know, work on your own. Samant Abhishek is saying, Abhijit looks like Vladimir Mitrovsky. There you go. <laughs> Vladimir Mitrovsky. Uh, Arana Ayub is saying, that's it. I'm leaving Abhijit for Laude ka fact checker. There you go. <laughs> Yeah, you know, this is my uh, uh, that Dilwale uh, Dulhaniya Le Jayenge moment where you want to run after Laureka fact checker, and I'm like, Uska Nam Kya Tha Usme? Ja Simran, Ja, Ja Simran, Ja, Ja Simran, Ja, Jile Apni Zindgi, O Simran, Ja, 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 O Simran, Ja, Ja, Ja. पहले प्यार की पहली चिट्ठी लवड़े का फैक्ट चक्कर का पहला चिट्ठी पहला चिट्ठी सही बात है अबे साला कबूतर जा 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 और कहा कौन सी पिक्चर को किसके साथ मिला के सत्यराज कर दिया ओ सॉरी ये कोई और पिक्चर के साथ था ना दिस वाज हां ये तो कोई और फिल्म में चला गया भाई कोई और गाने में चला गया हां ये वो भाग्यश्री और सलमान खान का फिल्म था दैट्स इट मैंने प्यार किया मैंने प्यार किया what is what is this one they're saying i want <coughs> anupam is asking i want to know what is your take on free speech versus hate speech how should we define it in india first there's no, no such thing as hate speech hmm okay there's just free speech yeah uh, uh there, there's a very clear judgment on this it's called the brandenburg judgment in the us supreme court which is it has to be a specific threat against a specific target Mm. Okay, so for example, Sharjil Imam made a specific threat, which was Chakka Jam, yeah. against a specific target, which was the Northeast. Yeah. Okay. Uh, 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 there were sub of the slogans, not all. The Tukde Tukde was, uh, uh, yeah. Uh, what was the full Tukde Tukde slogan? Bharat tere Tukde honge, Bharat... inshallah. Haan, toh, you know, that, that isn't like it's uh, kaise honge. Hmm. See, it's not specific. But yeah. jang rahegi, jang rahegi yeah. is specific. It does meet the Brandenburg criteria because the threat is directed like the previous one at Bharat. But here they are saying we are going to do violence. Yeah. Jab tak in Hindustan barbad nahi hota hai. Okay, so this is a very clear demarcation in. Uh, uh, so, so let me let me ask you this: so when it law, but in to, India, you know, jurisprudence is a joke. Yeah, so let me ask you this: the the current thing that happened with the alt news and Rana Ayub with the video that they shared. It's. I mean, it's. What what can that be classified as? I mean, that that is something that we, I think the three of us agreed that needs to be some kind of action taken against that. But then what do we classify that as? Is that like defamation? So, so, so see, here's the thing. I don't think they should have gone after Rana Ayub for that. Hmm. Okay. Right. Because uh, uh, the thing was, she trusted a source. Hmm. Uh, and she just mindlessly peddled whatever that uh, uh, idiot uh, donkey piglet, whatever he is, I forget now. Uh, I mean, he reminds me of a different species of uh, 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 amoeba every single time. <laughs> amoeba hai, paramisha mein pata nahi kya hai bechara. Uh, uh, to kya hai? Wo jo ladka hai, usne jo tweet kiya tha, after stripping the video yeah. of its audio, yeah. uh, put it up, and then putting up the uh, follow-up without any due diligence. And he, his one job is to be a fact checker. He's not a reporter. Yeah. Remember, the difference between a reporter and a journalist and a fact checker is what? A reporter can make mistakes because they are on the ground. Yeah. 
A journalist cannot because the journalist's job is to pick up on what the reporter said uh. and put lots of things together. You are required to exercise due diligence. Mm. A fact checker fundamentally cannot be a reporter or a journalist right. because there is a fundamental conflict of interest out there. Right. Okay. Uh, uh, which is why when you look at places like India Today's fact-checking division, the fact-checking division is maintained as a completely separate parallel. They're not allowed to get into reportage and things like that at all. Hmm. So, so first of all, he broke that. Uh, yeah. He puts it out without checking any of his facts. Now, right. these people assumed that this fellow claiming to be a fact-checker had obviously got all his facts right. Which is why they tweeted it out. Uh, like Rana Ayub claims in her police statement that, you know, she did not, in fact, exercise due diligence because mm. she trusted that this uh, 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 Laureka fact checker had done his due diligence. Yeah. Okay, now, so the case has to be against Twitter and against Laureka fact checker. Mm. Right. So, okay. Okay. Uh, so this one is from Sri Hari. He's asking... As per Alexei Arora, wokeism is the climax of U.S. capitalism injected into U.S. universities by Pentagon and others. What do you guys think about this? Totally disagree. What? I know this theory. This How is an is... old. This is a Marxist theory. What? Huh? Yeah. This is this is a lot of Marxists and especially Indian they think, Marxists. They think that wokeism has been implanted by like the CIA. This is nonsense, Fuck. Yaram. So... How do they I, know this? Do they have any um, proof of this? Sure. I, I don't this? agree with this theory at all. Yeah. I, I've heard Remember, this. This guy had come on Abhinav's channel. With, look, wokeism starts with Foucault and Dar Derrida and their writings, right? Yeah, yeah. How do you classify them? Wokeism is so complex. If you look at postmodernism, postmodernism was dead in the there, 70s, huh? right? Yeah, but mm. it was dead in the 70s because postmodernism by itself was nihilistic, right? So everything is a micro narrative, then even theirs is a micro narrative. And you mm. run into an, ab uh, you know, abort, control, all delete problem where you basically have no narrative. Then yeah, parallelly, yeah. there was something uh, happening on the other side through the, the Frankfurt School, which goes and develops into your critical race theory. This yeah. is a khichdi of critical race theory and that what has yeah. Mark, American capitalism got to do with any of this? capitalism or the only problem is capitalism as a system can be exploited by anyone right right you exactly. you can also sell i i hate xyz and make t-shirts out of it is the fault that uh, is capitalism at fault so is the person at fault so technically alexei isn't particularly wrong except i have huge issues with you know this uh, hidden state the deep state narratives yeah. There is no such thing as the deep state and things like that. It's just a temporary alliance of convenience that happens based on uh, whatever, whenever. In mm. this case, corporate America was on board on this either because of extortion or, like I said, because it allows corporate executives to keep the boardroom in a constant state of uncertainty and flux. Yeah, It will, of course, come and eat them someday. But till then, they feel they have greater freedom of action to do it. So, yes, they do promote it quite actively. Uh, Rahul Venugopal is asking, do you think that India is ready for a center-right Hindutva political movement, which is very similar to the Aam Aadmi Party in terms of its no. formation, influence and scope? No. 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 Mm. No. And just one okay. last thing, Sham, uh -huh. I want to I want to add here. Yeah, yeah. The biggest problem with most of these claims that are made by people is they give they make contradictory claim uh, mm. that they assume the state is too powerful and too inefficient at the same time in the same issue, not in other issues. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Ankit Kaushal is saying Sam Harris wrote Waking Up, which is almost a dharmic book. What do you think? I think this is directed especially towards Kushal. Well, I, I mean, I've read Sam's books. Sam's a philosopher waking, too. Yeah, waking up is like when he talks about some of the ideas that he talks about, it is very sort of Advaita Vedanta. 
नो आई डोंट थिंक सो आई थिंक लॉट ऑफ इट इज सी सैम जो सैम ने अद्वैत सीखा है वो रमना का अद्वैत सीखा है सो इवन व्हेन इट कम्स टू सैम्स अंडरस्टैंडिंग ऑफ अद्वैत वेदांत इज बेसिकली ही गिवन टू गोयंका जी एंड फ्रॉम गोयंका जी सो हिज हिज अंडरस्टैंडिंग इज प्राइमेरीली ऑफ रमना महर्षि सो इट्स नॉट इवन आई डोंट थिंक सो सैम हैरिस इज अ वेरी गुड अंडरस्टैंडिंग ऑफ लेट्स से अद्वैत from a first principles perspective as in directly from let's say shankaracharya so yeah. wo, wo adi shankar wala nahi hai but sam does have a very good understanding of a particular type of buddhism whether is dokchen or, or tibetan jo bhi bolna yeah. hai wo usko acha samajh padta hai a lot of times what's happening with sam is, is a classic case of take buddhist principles apply evolution evolutionary principles to it take whatever you can and get rid of whatever you don't yeah. and so you that's that's what sam harris is i think he's a fantastic thinker yeah. you don't have to agree with everything sam harris says i think there in the case of sam i think he's the least abrahamic thinker in the western pantheon that yeah. i will accept but i don't have to agree with uh, everything sam harris says either but i i definitely would say he's one of those people who you have to constantly listen to and read all the time yeah why abhijit vijay is asking why do you think the communists couldn't get a foothold politically in karnataka unlike other states down south abhi hai ki gaya other states there's only yeah. kerala where else did they get yeah do they have a where strong presence in tamil nadu uh, i don't think so it's just two parties there no no uh, yeah. they've uh, they've uh, had some minor presence but uh, never mm. particularly strong uh, uh <laughs> Karnataka Andhra never uh, see there was the naxal belt in andhra at best but mm. even that was had more to do with <clears throat> uh, local mafias and things like that it was more of a native movement against quarrying and mining that right. got hijacked by the naxals uh, uh, you know as uh, their tribal rights movement because nobody else was listening to them because these miners were paying everybody very very handsomely irrespective right. of which party you came from now why does this happen in kerala specifically well mm. uh, uh, for, for a lot of reasons because remember the maharajas of uh, travancore and places like that uh, mm -hmm. they started educating and uh, all of that uh, the the travancore maharajas paid more attention uh, much earlier on uh they encouraged a lot of trade and commerce so you had unionization a lot earlier on so remember it was places that saw either social or industrial development very rapidly right. like bengal and kerala kerala was social development not so much industry uh where right. uh this thing comes about so it's exactly like marx predicts for socialism to happen there must first be capitalism right socialism can't happen to india because we have never had capitalism in india <laughs> uh nachiket kulkarni is asking and we'll take this as the last one should india join the northern alliance against taliban like last time any success of this alliance no, no. in the current circumstance so i'll tell you what you remember uh uh the mujahideen that we love so much abdullah abdullah ahmed shah masood mm. all these people uh they were the mujahideen and they hated india at one point of time mm okay uh we considered them and they were they were pakistani yeah. stooges in that sense pakistani yeah. cia stooges isi stooges and then they split and there was another movement called the taliban which was controlled entirely by pakistan that first it was pakistani controlled mujahideen that took over yeah then from the mujahideen it was the pakistani controlled taliban who took over and like the mujahideen and the taliban separated remember there's two different talibans there don't make the mistake that america made in vietnam which is you label all communists as soviet camp and therefore need to be bombed yeah okay there are heaps of people who can be plucked aside from the uh, taliban who hate pakistan yeah you have to identify who continue and they will have perpetual uh, leverage pakistan will have perpetual leverage on and then there will be people who pakistan does not have perpetual leverage on who hate pakistan in fact even the people that pakistan has perpetual leverage on they do it because of the leverage they don't actually like pakistan right so remember the taliban today isn't the taliban it was 20 years back and there it was kind of enforced by a kind of isis style uh, 
that unity of purpose has been completely destroyed now. Taliban hates each other. A lot of time they spend fighting each other. It just never mm. gets reported. Interesting. Uh, all right. Well, we better leave it there, guys. Um, thanks for your questions today. Thanks for your memes. Remember, next week is the last week that the merch competition is going to be uh, there. So send us your merch for the next week. At On Thursday for the next week's podcast, is when we will announce all the winners of the merch competition and we'll finalize uh, three or four merch designs and uh, and the winners will get merch sent their way as well. So keep an eye out. Join us for next week's for the winners of the merch competition. Other than that, thank you very much for joining us. Thank you for your questions. Thank you for your memes. We will see you next week. And we're doing a podcast together, right, Kushal, soon? Yes, we to talk about 10 minutes or 15 minutes. We'll do it in What's 10 it minutes. On? MMA. Tere kaam ki nahi hai. Ja ke Ayer, ja ke de. Oh, by the way, that Abhijit Ayer Mitra on YouTube, yes, that is me. So oh, I'm that the is one you. that's coming and respond. That is me, yeah. Ah, good, good. good. I okay. thought you would have all guessed from the kind of nasty comments. I did. That I, that's what we were chat. thinking. Yeah, last time, that's what so, we were so thinking. I'm going to, Abhijit hi lag hai. Yeah. So I'm going to come slam your uh, MMA con, uh, thing in Aja. the comments also. So remember, yes, that is me. Aja, aja, so I'm going to Good. Aja. Oh my so we're going to be on Kushal's channel in about 10 minutes. So come join yeah. us there. We're going uh, we're gonna to preview UFC 264 yes. and other yeah. stuff. So come talk to us. Yeah. All right. See you guys oh, in 10 also, minutes. Can you, can, huh. can you send me the Veil Veil, Vetri Veil and the video, yes. please? Yes, I'll send you all of them. Twitter, Twitter DM, please. Okay, I'll be Okay. okay, guys. Bye. Catch you next time. Tada, bye-bye. Wail, wail, wait, wait.